Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial you will learn how to create professional cover page design for assignments or projects in Microsoft Word. You can download this template on my website. Subscribe my channel for future updates. First, zoom out so that you can see the complete page. First, go to insert, click on shapes, then click on line. Now hold down your shift key and draw a straight line. Let the line be wider than the page. So you can see that now it's wider. Now go to the format, I mean select the line and go to the format. Then click on shape outline, then go to the weight and click on more lines now for the weight type 20 points and click ok now again go to the shape outline select the blue color light blue and then go to the shape outline again then go to the dashes and select the second one that is the round dot now go to the shape outline once again and click on more outline colors now for the transparency type 65 percent and click on the ok button now you can move this as per your choice well i prefer to move this here at this location you, now if you click away and zoom in you should see a dots pattern like this now let us zoom back Now again go to the insert, click on shapes and take the freeform tool. Now using this tool roughly draw a triangle just like this. Make three clicks, one, two, three, sorry, four clicks. Four clicks and now we are done with the triangle. Now next is go to the format, I mean having the uh, newly created shape selected, go to the format click on edit edit shapes and edit points now what you want to do is you will have to right click on each of these nodes and select corner point just do it for all the nodes corner points and then again corner point now the bottom line I mean what you see in the bottom you can just keep it straight just make a right click and select straight segment for that now for, for we have to just convert this these two lines to curves so what you can do is you can just make one click on this node so that you can see the additional anchor points just drag it like this So you can adjust this as per your choice. After some adjustment, you should be able to create a shape like this. Now, I'll place this at the bottom at this place. So you can keep it wherever you want. Now, I will increase the size of this by holding the shift key so that it is slightly uh, bigger than half of the page size. Now I'll move it again and align it here. So yeah this will do now I'll go to the format click on shape fill and uh, 
select dark blue color then go to the shape outline and click on no outline now duplicate this shape by holding control and clicking and dragging the mouse now go to the shape fill and select a slightly reduced blue now just adjust this or uh, i mean overlap this and adjust this with the previous shape i would like to rotate this like this and adjust it so that it looks like this now you can make one more duplicate copy go to the shape fill again and choose light blue now rotate this again so now all the three shapes look like this you might have to make some adjustment you can use the arrow key now make one more duplicate now this time you simply have to go to the more fill colors and then in the transparency type 65 percent and click on the ok button now you can adjust this like this now let us create one more shape let us go to the insert shapes and click on freeform this time i am going to create a parallelogram like shape just like this and then now we will go to the edit shape click on edit points now you will need to uh, just right click here on this line and click on curved segment and do the same for this one as well curved segment now click on this uh, node and right click and choose corner point and for this as well choose corner point for all the sides now you will need to adjust the nodes like this I mean adjust the curve like this After some adjustments, you should be able to create a shape like this. Now you can just stretch this to the width of the entire page like this and then move it up like this and now you can just go to the format shape fill and apply the dark blue and then go to the shape outline and click on no outline now you can duplicate the shape like this and then go to the shape fill apply a slightly lesser blue and then adjust it like this and you can just make one more duplicate copy go to the shape fill again and then choose light blue and one last time you can just duplicate it and just go to the shape fill more fill colors and then set the transparency to 65 percent and click on the ok button so now you should be done with a design like this next go to the insert click on text box and click on draw text box now draw a text box here now you can increase the font size i mean set the font size to approximately 44 points and then you can type your project title I would set this to the right alignment and then I would set the font to Arial Narrow 
and then I'll make this italic and you can set the color font color to the dark blue I'll also use the bold and then we'll just go to the format and click on shape fill and click on no fill and also you will need to remove the outline by going to the no outline so uh, the project title is done now here we will need to add some text to do that again we'll go to the insert and then text box draw text box and you can just drag a bigger text box here I mean draw a bigger text box here now this time we'll just uh, you know remove the fill and outline as well now I'll go to the home tab and then select courier new as the font and then the size I will set this to 28 and uh, we will also need to make some changes like I'll set the font color to this gray shade and then I'll go to the paragraph click on tabs and then I'll type 10 in the tab stop position and then I'll choose a leader I'll choose uh, this one the last one and uh, I'll just click on the set let it be the left tab and I'll simply click on the set and then click on the OK now we will start adding the text so I have typed something and then if I press the tab key you could see that the dash is created till the uh, I mean uh, till the tab stop position now I can press the enter key add few more text and then you can just press the tab key like this and you can keep adding the text that you want and press the tab key you can see that the dash is automatically created So this dash will be created automatically only if you press the tab key. So in this way you can add the text that you want so finally our project cover page is completed now let us zoom this and see how the cover page looks let me zoom it to 100% okay friends I think this tutorial is helpful so you can download this template on my website so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do it immediately I'll see you all in my next video with another awesome content until then, it's bye from hpninfotech.com.